All right, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we are in a completely different shed. The original lockdown was only meant to be three days, but there was like a 48 hour period where you could move home. So obviously I was staying at the store for the last two videos that I recorded. So before that 48 hours was up, I decided that I was gonna come home where I actually live here with my girlfriend down on a farm in Paranoa. So I was like, this is gonna eventuate that. I think this is actually gonna be probably a two or three week lockdown. And I don't have the capabilities of living at the store for two or three weeks, so I decided I'm gonna come home, I'll bring my bike, I'll bring the wheels. I've got the Cannondale with me, I've got the Hypers uh, 38s with me, obviously I've got the tires all fitted on them, they're all basically ready to go. I went out on a short ride on the Cannondale when I first got down to Paranoia, just I think I did like 31 or 32K. So I haven't actually given it a clean, so it is still absolutely filthy. So, so I've got a bucket and a brush. Obviously not the best stuff to clean a bike with, but better than nothing. So I'm gonna give the Cannondale a clean. And obviously I've got the girlfriend's bike. This is the Avanti Corsa SL. And this bike literally makes my bike look like it's clean. So we'll give that one a clean as well. And then me and her are gonna head out for a ride. So yeah, we'll give that bike a clean as well. And then we'll head out for a bit of a ride. It's not the best of days today, but I reckon it's meant to get to about, about 15 to 16 degrees. How's it going, Dars? Hello. Alright, there we have it. We have the Windspace Hyper 38 um, rim brake version on the Cannondale F1. It actually looks pretty sick. I almost think that these wheels look better on this frame with this paint job than the um, Durace ones, purely just because of the tyres. It also looks good because obviously this is a climbing frame to have more like a narrow section wheel rather than the 75s and the 50s. I think these wheels kind of just bring this frame together a little bit nicer. All right, we're basically all ready to go, all kitted up. Um, Stacey's gonna be coming with me. We've got her rig all ready to go. Obviously, I've got the Hypers on the Cannondale. It's actually quite a nice day. Last time I went for a ride, it was warm. It was real windy, so I had to wear a vest, but today seems all right. So, one of these is electrolyte and one isn't. Now, already, I haven't obviously got my scales with me because they're at the shop, but like already, I reckon this has taken off Definitely a few hundred grams off those um, training wheels, but like, it's so much lighter with these um, wipers on there. And the only thing we haven't done is obviously a hub check, and I think this hub sounds pretty sick. It definitely sounds better than the Juros one. Got the Wahoo starting up. I've actually got the GoPro on Stacy's bike. So we've got the good GoPro on there. Obviously we want to get shots of the real bike, not the fake bike. Yeah, I've done that so we can get some decent shots of the wheels and see what they look like while I'm riding.
chair. That ride was about 40, I think it was just under 40k. Stacey and I had average, I think just over or maybe just under 25k an hour average. We were doing really well except the winds shifted about, I don't know, halfway out into the first straight. It was basically we were into a headwind and then we had a tailwind and I was like, oh this isn't good because that means it's going to be a headwind most of the way back. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. She hasn't done a lot of riding since she left Palmy, which was like, oh, I don't know, well over a month ago. And even before then she was only doing, you know, 19k bike rides, 20k bike rides, 25 is probably her max. So to go out there after doing nothing and rip out a 40 is pretty good. But yeah, the reason she's doing a bit of training is myself, granddad, sister and Stacey are all going to be going to do um, round Taupo. They're all going to do the hello. They're all going to do the 40k and I'm going to hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, be fit enough to do the um, the 460k round Taupo. I'm not going to be doing the pro race or the elite race. I'll just do like a normal pro go off with like group two or three just to kind of get in there and enjoy it because it is a really enjoyable experience uh, around Taupo. So if you're going to be there, let me know in the comments and hopefully we can do a little meet up and see some of the viewers. But yeah, anyway, on to the Hyper Wind Space Wheels. I am blown away. <laughs> So for some reason, I thought that, that that round that we did was in no gravel because I saw that Langers had done it. I thought, oh, it's kind of in our region, so we're not going to break like the lockdown rules. The first right hand turn, it says gravel road. I'm like, oh, bugger. So I, I turn around and Stacia just keeps going. So I was like, oh, well, I guess we're testing it down in the gravel. We're straight through probably two or three K of gravel. Absolutely fine. I had the pressure set to 75 on the 28th. And I can't believe how well these handle in the gravel and how comfortable they are on the road, they're just amazing. These wheels fitted with these 28s are just like insanely comfortable. I never, I'd obviously heard a lot of hype about the 28s, never realized it was actually like, I never thought it would actually be very noticeable. I thought, oh, you'd have a little bit of difference, but like even on that, you know, 40K, nothing crazy, and only averaging 25, I could notice that these just feel more comfortable on my bike. Like even from my training wheels and definitely more comfortable with my Dura's um, C50s or C75s. They feel super stiff and obviously like race wheels, but these just feel so comfortable. I feel like I could ride on these for days and days and days. First time taking them out for a test ride, they feel amazing, they shift good, the hubs felt really good, they felt super quick on the descent. And yeah, we took them through 3k gravel and they held up good, they're still in good nick. And uh, yeah, no, I'm really, really impressed with them. Next ride I want to do on them, I want to take them out obviously with these wheels and just see how good they feel over like, you know, a decent distance to a three or four hour ride. Yeah, other than that, I'm super, super impressed with these Hypers. Obviously for the price, I'm pretty sure they're only like $1,200. I'm pretty sure when my Durace wheels came out, like if you were to buy the Durace C50 tubulars when they first came out, you're looking at well over $3,000. So these are less than half of that. But yeah, that is going to wrap up today's video. Um, go follow me on Strava if you want to see my rides and stuff. A little bit of behind the scenes, sometimes I post photos of wheels and bikes that I've reviewed before I actually post them on YouTube. So go follow me on there. I think we're at like 1300 followers on there. So let's try and get that up to 2000. And then yeah, that is going to end today's video. Obviously next ride I want to do well over 100k on those wheels just to really, really test them in. But yeah, 40k on them today and they felt absolutely amazing. But yeah, that is going to be the end of today's video. We've had a really good run of videos. I'm going to try and keep up the momentum. The videos are doing really well. Thanks for all the support, especially on the shop one, even though we're in lockdown and I can't sell anything at the moment. So give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs>